I know this is fixed it. I've been working on where to put the Y limit switches and end stops and I've decided that the best location is actually on this pillow here. What I've done is I've cut this piece of aero board that will fit under here and then obviously on this I'm going to have two switches mounted just like I did with the uh, X axis. The cable's going to run here at the back and I've already run it up and through. It goes part way through this run, joins the run halfway along and then obviously goes right the way around the back here. Comes around this cable run right the way through to the back and then out with the existing cables. So I'll uh, get the switches in place and give them a try. Okay, this is the Y axis board. I'll just connect it up to a continuity tester. That one works. That one works. So the board's working, so I'll install it and we'll give it a test. So I have the uh, X and the Y boards fitted. They're quite close to each other, but they don't touch each other. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll sort out the uh, Y axis cable some protective plastic wrap around that cable and I'm going to feed it up here part way into this cable trunking and what will happen is as the cable comes back it will just roll over the top of it and will keep it protected by not feeding it high I've saved myself a lot of effort but I've also saved myself the hassle of it getting snagged or having to run the cable backwards and forwards so this gives me a good entrance location for these cables in the next video I'll be making some end stops for the Y switches to stop against and I'll be connecting it up to the control box and testing it I hope you liked the video, if you do please give it a thumbs up, consider sharing it with others and possibly subscribing. Thanks for watching, bye.